am Jennifer McMath, one of your sciatic pain terminators. Now there are very few neurosurgeons who practice in the treatment of the pudendal nerve. The symptoms of pudendal nerve entrapment include pain, numbness, or dysfunction in the areas of the genitalia, rectum, and urinary tract. Now, many neurosurgeons simply avoid seeing patients with urogenital, rectal, sexual, or perennial symptoms. However, other related area practitioners such as urologists, general surgeons, and gynecologists should consider the nerves of the area in addition to just the end organs. In a study conducted by Aaron Filler, MD, PhD, published in Neurosurgery Q, Volume 18, Number 1, March 2008, he analyzed 55 patients at Cedars Sinai Medical Center at the Institute for Nerve Medicine in Santa Monica, California. These were the diagnostic methods used. Number one, a detailed neurologic physical examination. Number two, MR neurography diagnostic imaging. Number three, open MR guided injections. If you've watched one of our other top six sciatica pain syndromes videos, we go into detail as to what each of these three methods are, what they do, and how they're used to conclusively diagnose and treat your pudendal or other nerve-related entrapment. Now, in this study, the treatment methods used were, first off, an open MRI guided injection with Marcaine, which is a numbing agent, steroids, Botox, which is used to relax the muscle over a longer term period and reduce the muscle tone and spasming, and Vitrace, which is an injectable scar tissue dissolving agent. Number two, minimal access surgical decompressions with intraoperative placement of seprafilm. An adhesiolytic agent prevents scar tissue formation during and after surgery and copiously irrigating the area with steroids and antibiotics as well as an anesthetic to reduce post-surgical pain and inflammation. Now the overall diagnosis success rate was greater than 95%. Most importantly, Dr. Filler found that pudendal nerve entrapment can be categorized into four major categories on the basis of where the entrapment was located. Directing the various minimal access surgical treatments at these differing sites greatly improved the overall immediate and lasting relief of the patient's indicated symptoms. The point is, there's help. Don't be afraid or assume that you're a special case. There are tens of thousands of people going through the same thing, spending money and time on doctors who do not know about these treatments and procedures. We've been there and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars going through the traditional medical system Eastern medicine, Western medicine, going to hospitals in foreign countries, all to end up finding Dr. Aaron Filler online from a YouTube video. If we would have only found out the information earlier, it could have saved us so much pain and heartache as John had his condition and finally got it resolved through proper treatment. That's why we're here. So until the sciatic pain terminator program is released with more in-depth and exclusive information on all of our blog posts, John and I invite you to watch these videos, read the articles, and learn all you can on our blog, and you might find, like quite a few others already, that just these free videos on the blog have been able to help guide you towards terminating your pain. John and I are thrilled to hear stories like that, so keep them coming. Also, please comment on the blog with any questions that you'll, you or a loved one has about how to terminate sciatic pain. It's time to get your life back. Stay tuned for our next video called Superior Gluteal Nerve Entrapment, Sciatica Pain Syndrome Number Four. To a pain-free lifestyle, 
Jen and John, your sciatic pain terminators.